hi guys welcome to my channel on cd made easy if you're new on this channel can you please click on the subscribe button in this video i'm going to teach you how to draw an inscribed circle so what is an inscribed circle or an inscribed figure is a shape or a figure that is placed or drawn inside another figure when you check my videos you will see circumscribed figure now when a shape is drawn inside another figure we call it an inscribed figure so now you can see a circle inscribed in a pentagon you can also have other shapes like a circle drawn inside the triangle a circle inside the square a circle drawn in an octagon a circle drawn in an hexagon you can as well have a circle drawn inside any form of polygon you can have any other shape like triangle drawn inside a circle so when a figure is drawn inside another one we call it inscribed figure so let's proceed into the construction inscribe a circle in a triangle with the following sides so the sides of the triangle given are six seven and eight centimeter so the first thing to do bring out your pencil and your ruler draw line a b eight centimeter Okay, this is line A, B, set eight centimeters. So you name your line as point A and point B. So now I'm using eight because that's the larger side. You may decide to use, you may start with six, you may start with seven, but preferably we start with the larger side. So the next thing to do, measure six centimeter because the sides are six seven and eight so having drawn eight you can use six or seven so now i want to pick six centimeters center at point a using a radius of six centimeters strike an arc this way strike an arc above so from there you move on to step three the last side is seven centimeter we have used eight we have used six so the last side is seven measure seven centimeter center at b using seven centimeter you strike an arc to cut the existing arc join the point of intersection together, then you have your triangle. Now I can name points, the, the last point as point C. You name it as point C, and you bisect angle C, A, B. Remember, we are trying to inscribe. The question says inscribe. When you are inscribing, you bisect the angles. You bisect two angles. But if you are circumscribing, you bisect the sides of the triangle. So now to bisect angle CAB, it means you're bisecting the, ang the, 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 the angle at the middle. Now this is CAB. The angle at the middle is A. So at angle A, we are bisecting this place. So this is angle CAB. So place your Place your compass and draw an arc. You can make small arc so that you can bisect freely. So just draw small arc this way. Okay. Center at the first place. 
you may reduce the, the radius, you may still use the same radius, you get the same results. So you strike an arc, or take it to the second point using the same radius that you used for the first one, you strike another arc above. So now you can join the point of intersection of the arc to point A. So this is bisector one. This is bisector one. Now, after this, I'll move on to the next one. Bisect angle A, B, C. I've bisected angle C, A, B. Now I want to bisect angle A, B, C. Now when I'm bisecting angle A, B, C, it means I'm bisecting angle B, the one in the middle. So I'll repeat the same procedure, center at point B. I'll make an arc. like I did in the first angle. Okay. So you draw a smaller arc this way. I want to change the color. Okay. So now position it here, the first points, then you strike an arc just like you did for the first one, you strike an arc above and below. Okay, strike an arc above the swing. Take it to the second point. You strike it only above. You strike the second one so that they can meet at a point. Then you join the point of intersection to point B. This is intersecting points. You join it to point B. So I have bisector two. So this is bisector one in blue and bisector two in green. Now those bisectors meet at a point. They meet at a point. I want to name the point where they meet as Point O. It means at a point. I want to name it as point O. So this is my point O. The next thing, which is step six, is to draw a perpendicular line from the bisector to line AB. Now I'll draw a perpendicular line from the bisector. This is bisector point O to line AB. It must be a perpendicular line. A perpendicular line is a line that makes angle 90. As you can see, it's a perpendicular line. So it must be perpendicular. So the last step is to use the radius from point O. Use the radius from point O. Point O is the point where the bisectors, where they meet. So you use the radius from point O to line AB to this point. Use it to draw the inscribed circle. Bring your compass center at O. Center at O. O is the point where the bisectors meet. Center at O. Okay, let me bring out my compass again. So you place it at O. Then you pick the radius from O. So line A, B. Just from O to line A, B, this way. Okay. 
thing. So you pick the radius. The radius must be the same to the three sides of the triangle. It must be the same. Once you're sure, you can now draw your circle. So it must touch the three sides of the triangle. So now I can now draw my inscribed circle. Just make sure you center at the middle and you draw your inscribed circle. 